Hey guys, j 3 here, back at it again with another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the features that will be in Update 3 of Modern Combat Versus. So, I'm just going to get right into it. So, first we got clans coming to Modern Combat Versus. Um, you'll be able to create or join your own clan. You, it makes it easier to play with your friends, it's real nice. You can make a custom tag, an emblem, it's real nice, real nice. Um, members, they can send each other daily gifts. So, um, I think it's pretty nice because it can probably help members level up. Like if you can send coins, diamonds, it would be even dope if you can send even age and XP. That would be amazing. Um, I think this would reset in 24 hours with the daily gifts because, I mean, what well, you're gonna be like, oh, after three hours, hey, you can send your member a daily gift. Like, honestly, you doubt anyone's gonna send them a daily gift, but if you're being that generous, I'm giving you mad props. But um, there will be a leaderboard for the clans. Like there's, like you know, there's like the regular clan leaderboard, but there's also clan member leaderboards. So you can uh, rank within your own um, clan with your friends or the clan other clan members, which is really really nice. Um, the, I th if I'm not mistaken, the max that the clans can allow is 20. So if you have a clan like the same clan and you like do it different on PC and iOS, I don't know if that's possible. But at least like I'm gonna say. A lot in this video depends on when update 3 comes out, we'll see. So, they will have a clan chat in game, which is real nice so you can communicate with your clan members. Um, there'll be a private chat where you can talk strategy. There will also be live tournaments, so I don't know if live tournaments also includes like you can spectate a match, but there's all, but like I know for live tournaments, like that little tab that you see in game, that's almost like a public game, so like you can choose when and where to go to. So I'm so speaking of tournaments, I'm just gonna go right into the tournament section. So you'll be able to party up and play custom matches with your friends. So it makes it easier to find a match with your friends rather than like being on Discord and on the voice chat and being like ready to search and be like three, two, one search and try to find and get hope that you get into a match with each other. So this is a great, a great feature coming in update three. Um, you can create your own tournaments. So you can select the map and the game mode. Now I'm gonna get into game mode later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. But when you create your, the tournament, you can select your map. You can make it the private match. But the um, live tournament games are public. By the, they're blah, blah, blah. They are public by default. So when you make it private, you will be given a code that you can copy and send to your friends. So then you can play with just your friends only, no other public people, which is pretty nice. Um, in tournaments, you can also choose a prize for the winning team. So if you're like doing a tournament, like whoever wins the whole match, like they get a I have another match the tournament they will get a prize and th the thing about that prize is that it will cost diamonds like if you start the tournament like you had to pay diamonds in order to set a prize which is pretty nice at the same time it's also pretty gambling so if you're a gambler congratulations um and when you create the tournament in clans you can notify your clanmates through clan chat so i don't know if it's going to be like one type of a button and it's like there's a default message or like automatic message i have no idea how it's gonna work out but let's just hope it works out nice um after that we got leagues so the leagues are kind of a little different not that big of a change like it, like to us it really is but like when you really think about it, it's not too big of a change so there will be seven or eight leagues i think it's really eight they say seven but if i counted correctly it's eight um emerald league is being removed which is pretty wow um, they have a new starter league created for the new members, I mean, not new members, the new players in the game. And, um, this league pretty much starts with like, zero trophies until you reach 500 trophies to be in bronze league. And, um, the trophy system is being revamped as well. So, the trophy system is to be, the way how it's going to work now is that you will win or lose a certain amount of trophies depending on what league you're in. So, for example, if you win the match and you're in Bronze League, you'll get 75 trophies. And if you lose and you're in Bronze League, you'll lose 5 trophies. Now, I forgot to mention this before, but there is a new, another new league called Master League that they're creating. So it's making it more competitive. So that the, um, in order to get in the Master's League, you have to have th um, 3,000 trophies. So in Master's League, whether you win or lose the match, you're going to gain or lose 25 points. I mean, 25 trophies. So it's really competitive i'll tell you that um so without further with that let's move on to the seasons so each season will whenever a season resets there will be um there are reset of trophies so your trophies will reset to 500 
So in uh, when update three launches, everyone's show feed will be set to 500. Then you gotta work your way back up the leaderboard. Um, seasons they're scheduled to last 30 days, so that's pretty much until the end of the month. Um, so when you're racing to the top of the leaderboards, you try to get promoted to new leagues because at the end of each season, there will be rewards, and the higher the league, the greater the reward. So these rewards they range from different many different things like they can range from currencies or player albums and even if you're like probably in a high league like platinum or um master league you can even get agent skins so that's pretty pretty nice um so it makes it very very competitive so you definitely want to like work hopefully you get a good team and not a bad team the video that you're seeing now you're you're seeing uh, me on some good teams even like this one team that I am nope that's not the that's the one with all American all Americans pretty good so yeah um there's also gonna be a new game mode coming out it's called bounty so it's like a twisted type of deep um TDM or team that's magic you don't know what that means so it's like um shadow gun legends when you play ascendancy so pretty much in bounty when you kill an enemy they will drop a data chip which you want to collect because each data chip you collect will give you five points so let me rephrase that the regular data chips will give you five points now if you kill an enemy who has a higher kill streak then they'll drop at least 15 or 10 data points i mean data chips i mean they'll drop a data chip that gives you 10 to 15 points i'm sorry so um you definitely want to be on alert with that and you also another thing you want to be on alert with is if your ally dies you want to collect their data chips before the enemy does because that will still give you points which is pretty nice um, so this is really a team based game like even um, zone control is a team based game But like no one plays a team based. but if anything definitely definitely play as a team while you're playing bounty So remain team focused protect your team and try to win Now something that we most people right know because you might have already saw the teaser trailer of it But it's still exciting news that we have a new agent coming out now, some of you might, if you guys don't know about the League Agents and their abilities, then I'm going to let you know who this agent is. So, if you don't want to hear the leak or you don't want to know, then I suggest you skip to, um, up this part. But the new agent that's coming out is Seven. Now, Seven is a sniper agent, but she's really a, considered a specialist. So, I we, have no, we don't have that much details about her, but like I said, if you saw the leak pictures, you would probably get an idea. Now, she has 700 health points and she does 175 damage that's at her level one ability all right so she has the round three sniper and it has 10 ammo in it and you'll see a picture on the left side of the screen right now so you'll see how she only has 10 ammo but like it shows a seven like she only used her three bullets already but the fact like when you compare that to monarch monarch has five ammo and monarch fire is pretty slow but he's still pretty high damage so i think the von 3 sniper will be a semi-automatic rifle because it just doesn't do because it has more ammo in it it just doesn't seem correct for a sniper so that's my opinion i could be wrong like i said we have very good little info about her um her ability is called the track knife so it's almost like locks ability like to me i think it's a little upgraded in a sense it could a little bit just a little bit um but when you throw it like at a wall or at the ground like it has a certain radius that you can track an enemy about like who's moving in within that certain radius so i have no idea about it like i said very little info but the fact that's called the tracking knife it makes me have the idea that it can penetrate armor and also cause some damage so if it like so like if you th if it's throwable right and say like if i were playing as seven right now and i just threw my knife and it hit ronin like it's in ronin right now right does some damage and you can track ronin on the go track any enemies that are within the radius while ronin's on the go pretty nice decent and um what's it called but I think it'll be pretty OP with Ronin though, because if Ronin puts the deflect and it comes back and hits you, that would be actually pretty funny. But it would still be pretty OP. But it, it has its strength and its weaknesses. So that's really it, mostly about um, update three. But I do have some side info I kind of wanted to share with you guys. So here we go. So the fact that as you're gonna you're gonna see on the screen now that we already saw Cold Skin come out and a uh, Juke Skin come out too. 
and we saw those come up pretty fast right so the fact that like it came out with the update as well and all that is pretty nice so i'm thinking the fact that we saw that and how in seasons you can end like you can earn skins at the end of the season i think that's pretty nice so that's the reason why i think that they might also release skins in this update like sometime probably later in the update but like and still in update 3 they'll release it and I was rewatching the orientation trailer, looking at some old pictures like of like teasers for Mortal Kombat versus, and I like looking game to see if we could find any possibilities for skins. And I, with doing all of that and also some leaks that somebody sent me, I was able to find three. And I want I'm not sorry three. I meant to say eight. I found eight, and I want to share them with you guys today. So I'm gonna start off with obviously the new Agent Seven. So this is a leak that someone sent to me. As uh, so you'll see on the screen right now with a seven skin. So if you ask me, it looks like an alien type of skin a bit. Like like it has like that weird alien look to it. Not like the movie alien, but I mean like like an old school alien look. Like that had that look to me. So I thought it was pretty nice, and I wanted to share it with you guys. It looks really cool. To be honest, I feel like they have like a skin rarity system, like common, uncommon, rare, um, rare, epic, and legendary or event skins. This skin definitely looks like it would be an epic skin to me. Now, with Ronin, this is an actually official game off skin. I don't know when it's going to come out, come out, but it looks really cool. It reminds me of Genji in Overwatch, um, the Ani skin pretty cool i'm loving the black gold or black orange no black orange i'm digging that that looks really cool so i know if i ever get ronin like i'm gonna try to get hashtag first but if i ever get ronin that's definitely the skin i want for him because that looks amazing that right there looks like a shade up legendary or epic skin that you're looking at so keep that skin in mind definitely um, next up, we got this ghost skin. So this ghost skin was from the orientation trailer. Um, it looks like it honestly looks pretty dope. It reminds me of um, when you play Titanfall Assault. I forgot what person it was, but it's like a. It was like one of the characters in there. I forgot who it was. I think it was the Spectre Captain. It reminded me of, but it makes me think that go like the um ghost is like a robotic type of character, not really like a person. Sounds like a person like with like AI probably in him, but I think he's like more of a robotic character. But he, in that skin, him in that skin, phew, that looks lit. All right, so um, we got Swift. Now this was also from the orientation trailer. Um, this skin, it has like the same details. So like the only change is probably the helmet. But someone pointed out that the gun was different. But to me, that doesn't really matter because I think it might have just been a glitch. So if anything, the gun is probably like the AA-12 in Bullet Force. Where it looks like it should be an assault gun, but it is really a shotgun. Um, so that's Swift, and now here's Tower. So before I, like, I knew like what this skin really looked like, it was a leak that was sent to me by a friend. Um, it looked pretty cool since like you can only see the head picture. But then when I looked at that orientation, the orientation trailer, I saw this. Now, like it showed more of the skin, and it reminded me of Ryan Hart from Overwatch. Wow, everything's getting compared to Overwatch right now. Like, oh my god! But um, it looked pretty cool. Like it reminded me of that Overgrown skin by Ryan Hart, and I thought like that's gonna be like a good legendary skin right there. Like that looks amazing. Um, after that, now we got Khan. So this Khan skin would like remind me of like a punk tracer skin or something like that it looks pretty lit though um if not punk tracer then like the new anniversary tracer like with the paintball looking look to her but it was <laughs> it looks pretty good i think this has the potential to be like an epic skin definitely like doesn't feel like legendary um it doesn't feel like it has that legendary look to it like if it is a legendary type of skin that's pretty cool but i mean it looks epic but it does look pretty cool um, now here's this medium skin that like you don't have the color to it because I found this one in game like for the skins tab where it's like saying coming soon as you can see in the picture but um it I, the reason why I think this is medium like if you look at the shoulder pad compared to medium shoulder pad like you can see like a similarity in it so I honestly just assumed it to be medium like I said I could be wrong but if I'm not wrong I wouldn't have a doubt about it wow I just got juked by that place and by the way this is pre-recorded gameplay so I'm just like commentating as I go 
but this is pre-recorded gameplay, so don't get me wrong. Um, so I looked at some, like, I'm finding like similarities between what the pit, like the agent and the skin looks like. So that's how I'm pretty much going based off this. So some of like there's only one of these that are one of this. Like I'm sorry, not one of this. Two of these are probably going to be official skins. Some of them are just based off observations. Now the last skin I found was of Revolve, right? So this was like an old, old Facebook um, picture that we saw before, like when we were waiting, waiting for Mortal Kombat Versus to come out before the soft launch. And I mean, it's pretty cool. Like you can tell this is Revolve because like you can see the jacket, the two pistols. I mean, the two revolvers. You can pretty much see the similarities in like the dark album on her bracelet. I mean, on her bracelet. Wow, on her belt. Like you can see it, and it like it just has all those similarities to it. So like I'm pretty confident that's a revolve skin, and I mean that looks pretty lit too. But I honestly think I rather have the like actual revolve look to her, not with that helmet. Granted, the helmet looks pretty lit, but I mean I would make a new agent with that helmet because I mean come on, come on, come on. All right, so um. That's pretty much it with the skins part. Now, I only have one more part, like one more thing to talk about before I end this video so that you guys can watch the rest of this gameplay. But, um, Modern Combat Versus is coming to Steam. Now, some of you might be like, why are they doing this if it's always on, if it's already on Windows 10? Like, what's the point? Now, here's what they said. I'm not sorry. Here's not what they said. This is my opinion on it. It makes sense because those who don't have Windows 10 and don't have the Windows 10 store, it gives them a chance to play the game without being on iOS only. I don't know, mobile, I should say mobile only. So I think it's fair to those players. So it gives them a chance. And then the fact that if you play on Steam, it's almost as if you can play it at any place that you go to. It doesn't have to be just your own computer. So like if you go to someone else's computer, log into your Steam account, play more Kombat versus on your Steam thing. It can be played anywhere and also if that person wants to play the game as well hey now they have it on steam they can play it there so it's i think it was a great decision i know i'm definitely going to be playing it on steam so hopefully it works out good now there's one more thing i want to talk about with that steam part is that if you log into your facebook on pc and like you have saved data on your i, I well, on your mobile device I think it would probably transfer over, like I say. I don't know, because it's not out on Steam yet, but if it does, that would be amazing. So I'm just gonna say that for you guys to save you guys like a lot of having to do all this makeup work and like decide if you're gonna like get the same agents or not. So I just saying that to help save <laughs> Oh, that was a good snipe, I forgot, bro. But I just wanna say that like so then you guys know in case it does work that way. So yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys do enjoy this. Um, leave a like if you want to see more content like this. I know I was kind of a little bit late, so don't think like I'm just figuring out, right, figuring this out right now. Like I already knew. I just never made the video on it yet. So leave a like if you enjoy. If you want to see more content like this? And um, subscribe if you want to see more of all of my content. And I will see you all next time.